Saab 96 196080. The Saab 96 is an automobile manufactured and marketed by Saab from 1960 to January 1980, replacing the 93. The 96 featured aerodynamic two-door bodywork, four-passenger seating and at first a two-stroke, three-cylinder engine, later a four-stroke V4. Compared with its predecessor, the Saab 93, the 96 featured greater and more easily accessible storage space and larger rear window. The front end was lengthened for 1965 models, in preparation for a new engine, and the radiator was placed ahead of the engine, rather than above and behind, a leftover from the thermosiphon cooling days. Both front and rear windows were enlarged slightly for 1968 models. The Saab 96 had a longitudinally mounted engine layout. As first designed, it had an 841 cc displacement, 38 PS, 28 kilowatts, three-cylinder Saab two-stroke engine. By 1965 this was increased to 40 PS, 29 kilowatts. An optional 52 PS, 38 kilowatts, version of the engine, with triple carburetors and oil injection, was used in the Sport and Monte Carlo models. The additional power was obtained from a modified cylinder head and filled crankshaft counterweights offering higher overall compression ratio. For 1966 models, the standard 96 841 cc engine, using premix oil, appeared with a three-throat Solex carburetor in which the center carburetor handled start, idle, and low speed functions, increasing the power to 42 PS, 31 kilowatts. The same carburetor had been used in the Monte Carlo and Sport models. A common throttle shaft minimized carburetor synchronization problems. In 1967, Saab began marketing the 96 V4, with the Ford Taunus V4 engine, a four-stroke 1498cc V4 engine, originally developed for the 1962 Ford Taunus 15M. Saab's project to source a four-stroke engine was dubbed Operation Kajusa. The two-stroke option was offered until 1968. Four-stroke engines had been tested before, between 1962 and 1964 Kiel Knudsen and Ingvar Andersen under Rolf Melda tested three different engines, a 45 PS Lloyd Arabella of 897 cc, a 33 horsepower BMC A series 848 cc engine and a Lancia Appia engine of 1089 cc and 48 horsepower. However Rolf Melda's view that Saab needed to switch to a four-stroke engine was stopped higher up by CEO Trig Holm. Melda then went behind the back of Holm and made contact with Mark Wallenberg, son of Marcus Wallenberg, Saab's major stockholder. The coup succeeded and testing could begin. The tested engines were Volvo B18, Ford V4, Triumph 1300, Launch a V4 engine, Opel, Volkswagen and Hillman Amp. The B18 was the most reliable, but the Ford V4 was not far behind and was significantly easier to fit into the engine bay of the 96. The testing was done in secrecy. Pargilbrand took a leave of absence and said he was going to run his father's paint shop. In reality he went to Di Senzano in northern Italy with a 96 V4 prototype for testing. With five months to go before production only seven persons knew about the new engine. To maintain secrecy they rented a house west of Christenham. To keep purchases of V4-specific parts secret they started the company Maskenvrick de Gab. The ordinary purchase department at Saab was oblivious to what was going on, something that caused an incident when Rune Alberg cancelled the orders for cables for the two-stroke engine and the purchase department called the supplier and sharply told them to keep their deliveries. In the last week of July, just before the summer holidays, Information about the new engine was released to further people and they were informed that full-scale production would start in four weeks. To keep secrecy, 40 of the ordinary staff were told to report to work to fix a problem with the disc brakes. Just prior to the official introduction, a journalist noticed a lorry loaded with 96s with V4 stickers on the front bumpers. The ordinary V4 engines produced between 1967 and 1976 had 65 PS, 48 kilowatts. Cars from the first year of production had engines with Ford Motor Company stampings. 
for the Swedish 1976 model year, the car, now known as the 96 liters, had its power reduced to 62 PS due to new Swedish emission regulations. However, the 1977 to 1980 models had 68 PS, 50 kilowatts, due to a two-stage Solex 32 did carburetor. The V4 96 managed 0 to 100 km per hour in 16 seconds. In August 1975, called 1975B in Sweden as the less powerful engine was kept for cars marketed after the beginning of the new year, when the new emissions standards took effect, the car received new impact absorbing bumpers similar to those on the 99 and an altered bottom plate which allowed the rear seat to be moved 5 cm further back. In the US, the two-stroke engine was called the Shrike in 1967 and 1968. Its displacement was reduced slightly for 1968, to 795 cc, to avoid emission regulations which exempted engines under 50 cubic inches, 819 cc. The V4S used in US cars had a 1500 cc high compression engine with 73 horsepower, 54 kilowatts, 74 PS. For the 1971 model year it was switched to a 1700 cc oil compression engine, so as not to lose power while meeting new emissions regulations. Stated power dropped to 65 horsepower, 48 kilowatts, 66 PS, for 1972 as C gross figures were abandoned in favor of the lower net ratings. 1973 was the last year that the 9695 were available in the United States.